from the hallowed grounds of Fenway Park, we've got baseball on the show. It's the Los Angeles Angels and the Boston Red Sox. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Coming up on the first pitch, and today's starter, Brian Bayo. What's the word on him? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. For the Angels, the third base Here comes the pitch. Check swing went around, and the count is one and two. High fly ball down the left field line. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. One down. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Mike Trout. Misses inside. Two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. Hard hit, left side. Whips it to Casas, and that is that. Angels go quietly there, and now the Red Sox get their turn. No score. Back, Back here at Fenway. So here's the lefty, Tyler Anderson. Lots of punch outs, a real strikeout artist singing. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Anderson ready to work. Three and two. Foul ball, and it remains a full cow. Swing and a miss. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. The one, two. Sets him down looking. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Tyler O'Neill. First two hitters get punched out on strikes. Take some notes from the dugout. When you get your chance, go up there and hit the ball hard somewhere. Next pitch is downstairs. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The pitch. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Drury makes the play, and the inning is over. Red Sox go down quietly, scoreless after one. Back inside Fenway Park, new inning getting started. So now the Angel cleanup hitter, Taylor Ward. Ward. And there's a ball. Next offering way off the plate. 
Clyde Washington doing the umpiring behind the dish in this one. Sometimes considered a bit of a pitcher's umpire, Singy. He likes the low ball, which traditionally favors pitching, but you know, hitters today are pretty good at dropping their barrel down, so we'll see how it goes in this one. Swings and misses, it's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. It's Aaron Hicks now. Bounced out to short, and it's through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Brandon Drury to the plate. Hicks runs. At the belt and fires. Ground ball right side. And it stays fair. Lead runner around second. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Logan Ohapi now at the plate. Logan in the dirt but kept close but no advance from the runners he's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam now he breaks as bad as it's put in play tosses to first yep, got him out. Well, that actually works out for the hitter. If it's not a broken bat, it's hit hard enough for a double play. But with the slower roller, defense does a nice job at least getting one out of it. Two outs. To the right side. He steps on the bag, and that is that. Angels strand a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Now batting Tristan Casas. The first baseman, Tristan Casas. Swings through that Let's one go. for strike two. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. And down on strikes. And there's one away. Here's Bobby Dahlbeck. One down, base is empty. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. Got him swinging. Well, he's really dialed in, and this offense is going to have to do something to try to break that rhythm. Maybe it's square around the bond, step out of the box, agitate him a little bit, do something that just changes what's happening right now because at this pace, it's going to be a long game, so you got to figure it out quickly. The pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. him out without a swing called strike three and a fastball up in the zone impeccable command in that one three batters three strikeouts that's electric stuff out there on the mound all set for the start of the we inning so in now for the angels the number nine Zach Neto. and the pitch gets under and pops it up Reyes has a beat on it. Hauls it in, and there's one away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's Anthony Rendon. 1-1 one, one now. Gets him to chase after that one. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Top of the third, no score. 
Good job to fight that one off. Two two now. Spoils a two strike pitch and he'll see another. And the righty deals. Tapped softly on the ground. Slings to first. Two up, two down. The batter number two. Second base. Luis. And next for L.A. Red Luis Rangifo. 0 for 1 so far. The wind of the pitch. And now 2 and 1. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire didn't give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. And that one hit to first. The flip to the pitcher covering. And that'll do it. So they go quietly there. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here at Fenway, here's the speedy catcher, Connor Wong. The catcher. The 1 1. And a foul ball. And here it comes. And now the count is even. The pitch. Fights it off. He'll see another. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Yeah, the batter oh. now. Sidane Rafaela. <laughs> the pitch. And that one fouled off. Why to kick the pitch? Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, right now he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating Not these enough. hitters. It doesn't that's look like it's a fun at bat. David. And all of a sudden, you become into all this guy in the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's Good five night. straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Swing and a miss. And the count's even at two. Well, and those hitters' counts sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Here's a 2 2. Out to short. On the run, sends it over to first. Roll picked out of the dirt, body save. Definitely a tough play, but he seems to have had a little trouble getting rid of it, and that made all the difference. With the speed running up the line, you got to be perfect, and right there, he just couldn't get it there in time. Now batting Jaron Duran. His first hit bat was a strikeout. Strike two. Throw over to first, and he's back in easily. Hamilton leads off first with two down to the inning. Another throw over, and he's back again.
Got him swinging for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. One hit, one left. On to inning number four. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Welcome back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Mike Trout. And the right-hander deals. That's inside. And another ball. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Righty delivers. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Banks off the wall. Throws to second. But he's in there easily. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day and a nice job of turning that one around. Next to hit, Taylor Ward. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter, blowing away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. In for a strike. And a count, one and two. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. And a pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. So back-to-back -back strikeouts now, and they still haven't managed to do anything with the leadoff double. Yeah, Boogie, and you just don't want to get careless here. You've done a really good job to get two outs after that leadoff double, as you mentioned, and just got to execute your pitches, and it's a non-issue. Bounce to the right side. Whips it to Casas. Third out. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. On now to the bottom of the fourth. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Back here at Fenway Park, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Pablo Reyes stands in. Popped up. Makes the grab, one down. And next for the Red Sox, Tyler O'Neill. He popped out his first time. The 1-1. One -one. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. Swing and a miss struck him out. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. One, two now. Inside oh. just missed. It's a good ball. take. The next pitch misses, and now it's three and two. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. The other way. He's got it. And that is out number three. Three up, three down that time. On to the top of the fifth we go. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here in Boston. We go to the top of the fifth. Now it's going to be Logan O'Hoppy. Next pitch is outside. Boston's bullpen with some activity. Number 83, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. And that one wrapped foul. And a pitch. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. The right fielder, number seven, Joe. Here's Joe Adele. Adele. Grounded out his first time. Kicks and fires. That's out to center field. Rafaela under it. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. The 
Number nine, getting ready to hit. First time up was a pop out. Next one misses, two and one. And strike two. Mohapi leads off first with one away. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. The pitch. Anthony Rendon up next for the Angels. And a pitch. Goes down looking. So the lineup flips over. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. And he deals. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. And that one is off the wall. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two out double, second and third now. Well, here we are, third time through the order. And this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. And he walked him. Now that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. New pitcher for the Red Sox, number 83. Well, no margin for error in terms of throwing strikes with the bases loaded. Just has to execute one pitch at a time to try to get out of this. And now two and two. Two outs, bases are full. On the ground, right side. In plenty of time to first. That's out number three. Angels threaten, but leave them loaded. And we're still knotted at zero. Back now at Fenway, Leading down the off. third baseman, well, no, Bobby Dahlbeck. The third baseman. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. And a count, one and two. That one just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Next pitch off the play, and it's three and two. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Going to count one and two. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Ward pulls it in on the run. Connor Wong up next for the Red Sox. Went down on strikes his first time through. At the belt and fires. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. And stepping in for Boston, Sidane Rafaela. The 2 1. And yeah, that's too no. high. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Up the middle. It's in and out of his glove. So, first and second with two outs. So, stepping in for Boston, David Hamilton.
Dahlbeck on second. Rafaela at first, two out of the inning. Next offering is foul back. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. And that one missing low. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these guys are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get and a swing and a miss. And that's the inning. No runs, a hit, two left. We're through five, and we still have no score. Back here in Boston, top of the sixth inning, and the batter now, Taylor Ward. The two on. In the air, out towards left center. Lays out and makes the play. Oh, that was a nice diving catch right there. Great effort, but if you look closely at his route, it, it wasn't as direct to the ball as you'd like to see. The angle initially not very good, but you have to credit him with making an adjustment, laying out, and getting the out. Nice job. Here's Aaron Hicks. Swing and a miss as he was late. The punch out there, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Brandon Drury, the next to hit for the Angels. Brandon Drury. Two outs. And that's in there at the knees. Comebacker to the mound. The throw to first, that ends the frame. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. And we still have no score. Back here at Fenway, bottom of the sixth inning, and stepping in is the speedy Jaron Duran. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Next one That's just misses. And the count is even two and two. That's Three a balls. little bit low. The wind and the pitch. And yeah, there's oh, ball four. And he's a guy that will certainly think about. So they turn things over to the righty, Adam Simber. So up next, Pablo Reyes. Simber is ready. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Now one away. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Here's a 1-1. Swings through that one. one this is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's going to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Here's a 1-2. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Two gone. You know, Boog, you often think of sliders more for that horizontal movement, but most of the good ones have both vertical depth and that horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. Here's a 2 1. That one missed. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Three one now. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. 
Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Left-hand batter waits. And ball mate. four, two aboard. Well, that could be a big walk in this ball game. Moves the go-ahead run right. into scoring Go position. So Go some three. pressure pitches coming up in this Go next A-B. So two down. Here's the third baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. 3-1 is on the way. And that's ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, the game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Two two. Ground ball right side. Tosses to first. That's the inning. Red Sox leave them loaded, and we are still scoreless. We go to the top of the seventh. Here's the Angels catcher, Logan Ohapi. The one one. And that misses off the outside edge. One straight. Fouls one off, two and two. Hard ground ball base now. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Just kept it simply, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Next to hit, Joe Adele. Next offering is in for a strike. Mm. Oh. Just misses there. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Casas snags it for the second out. Anthony Rendon, the next to hit for the Angels. Anthony. Drove it off the wall last time, just missed out on a home run. Hit on the ground to the right side. Takes it himself. And that is the third out of the inning. Angels leave one. Still no score. Luis Garcia gets the call from the pen. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Now the catcher up to hit. Connor Wong, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. Riding to the play. Here's a high chopper. Grabs it barehanded. Gathers and throws. Got him. Great play to keep the leadoff man off base. He was out early today working on that very play. The 2 2. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. Out number two. Hey man, now four pitches, two Good outs. Stop. That is an excellent pace. The 2 1. And a good eye there. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. You can stomach a two-out walk to certain players, but with his speed, this guy out there on the base pass, it could turn into two or three bases. So the Red Sox lineup turns over. Now the left fielder, Jaron Duran.
Next offering is in for a strike. Two gone. The possible go-ahead run at first. Hot shot to third. Sends it across to first. What a play. Inning over. Back in Boston. Ready to begin the eighth. So in now for the Angels. Luis Rangifo. Next offering is down low. There's a strike. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Here's Trout. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. The lefty ready and a 1 1. Out front, rip foul. Line drive, base hit. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. On the ground left side, six. Flips it, Hamilton to second, and that's two. Got the batter to hit it exactly where he wanted. That textbook 6-4-3 double play gets out of the jam and back in the dugout. Back inside Fenway Park, ready for the bottom of the eighth. And stepping in for Boston, Pablo Reyes. Caught him looking for the K. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark no, after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Pitch misses outside. Now two balls and a strike. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was... Rudder takes off. Pitch is low. Throw to second. Tag, and they got him. That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big-time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. That one fouled off. Two and two. A little bit low. Careful. And a swing and a miss. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. It's the ninth, and we are tied. Pitching change here, number 63. Aaron Hicks at the plate. Next offering is down low. And a count two and one. Right-handed reliever. And he chases a high fastball there. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. 
Now at the plate, Brandon Drury. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. And here's the catcher, Logan Ohapi. Logan Ohapi. The 3 1. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Now it's the shortstop, number nine. Next pitch misses way outside. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. And that one in the air center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. So they're able to work around a pair of walks in the inning. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. And we still have no score. A new arm into the game, the righty, Carson Fulmer. And now here is Bobby Dahlbeck. Attention, please. Now pitching for the Angels. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Carlos Estevez getting loose out there. And it's even up. He's mixing his pitches really well late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. Here's the 2-2. Stays alive. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Two two, got him, and one out now. Thought it was a pretty good pitch, top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And now it's even up. He goes down looking. So two down now, and here is Connor Wong. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a pop-up. Foul and a play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. The 1-2. Base hit, center field. Really nice job of two strike hitting him at bat. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. And now let's see if they pull some action with good wheels on the bases. Two outs, but the winning run is at first. That pitch in for a strike, and the count is filled up. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Gets a piece and stays alive. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. On the ground, right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. And so the Red Sox go to the bullpen. Greg Weiser. Now it's the Angels' leadoff man, Anthony Rendon. Man at second. And that one off the outside edge. 
Activity in the bullpen. Chase Anderson, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. That misses, and a count is three and one. I played umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. And the right-hander's 3-1. And that one is lifted in the air. Pulls up on it. Base hit. Here's the throw to the plate. Not in time. He beat it, and they've got the lead. Well, they didn't waste any time as they knock home the runner from second to get on the board. Huge for team confidence and how you approach the situation. Still have a guy on base, and now they'll try to add on. And next for the Angels, Luis Rangifo. A strikeout and a walk. Drops a bunt down the first base side. Goes to second. Safe there. And that's a bunt single. That was placed perfectly. Here's Mike Trout. Beautiful swing in his last at bat. Opposite field knock. Right-hander kicks, deals. Downstairs, and it misses. Ball four. Got a great back and forth in that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches, and... Somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. You need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this. Ground ball left side could be two. Comes home with it for one. Relay to first, double play. Well, a big turn of events in this inning. Very well done by the defense right there to get two and cut down the run at home plate. A lot can go wrong on that play, and you have to be sure of the first out, but they look like they've worked on that play quite a bit. Fouls it off, still one and two. The pitch. Straighten him up a little bit. And the 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a ball hammered left field. And it's off the wall. The run comes in from second. It's 3-zip. Now he launches a throw over his head. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. They go with one of their more experienced arms in this spot, Chase Anderson. And now Brandon Drury. Two on now. Hicks at second with two down. Next offering is foul back. Got him. Good job at damage control right there. But three score in the inning. Two of them on this two-run double. Back here in extras and a new pit. And now David Hamilton. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Activity in the bullpen for the Angels. Jose Suarez up and loosening in the pen. And the next pitch is way outside. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the three-run count. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. him out looking well definitely a borderline pitch right there and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout you know those are tough ones to let go as a hitter but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes digging in jaron duran and it is two and one
And a swing and a miss. The next offering misses. Counts full three and two. The three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four. Pretty good spot on the outside but just couldn't quite clip the zone. That's a stone cold take. First and second one out. Now the number two hitter Pablo Reyes. Out there to center. Trout pulls it down and there's two gone. So they're down to their final out. And next for the Red Sox, Tyler O'Neill. Quarter infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. The 1 1 is fouled off. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Is just one strike away. Got him! And that's the ball game. Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras into 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late. When you can do that, it kind of calms everything down, keeps the adrenaline of the opposing team down a bit, and you can steal a win and get out of here happy. A shutout in this one, 3-0 our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Angels. Three runs on nine hits. No errors. They left 11 men on base. For the Red Sox, no runs. Four hits. No errors. They left 10 men on base. Time of the ball game. Three hours and 41 minutes. Our Fedway Park paid attendance this afternoon. 37,755. We'd like to thank the Red Sox Nation for their continuing support and remind you to please drive home safely.